my name is Annalene and I went to Rome and Bologna for a few days in September and I wanted to share a little vlog about the trip. We arrived at night and so we just had dinner at Piazza Navona and then walked around the city for a little bit. We walked from the city center to the Vatican City and to the St. Peter's Cathedral. It looked amazing at night. The next day we went to visit the Mausoleum of Hadrian or Castel Sant'Angelo. I had never been inside and it was honestly beautiful. It had lots of beautiful ceilings and paintings, but what I liked the most was actually the outside. You could go higher and higher and when we reached the top the view was amazing. I also loved just walking out onto the roof and looking at the city taking in all of the surroundings and then turning around and seeing that amazing statue of an angel it looked amazing i, I i'm speechless about it it was probably the best thing that i saw <laughs> On that same day we visited the Pantheon, we also went to Hadrian's temple. They had a beautiful video, if you can go, there's the movie that they play, go and watch it. And we also saw the column of Marcus Aurelius and Victor Emmanuel's monument, it was very good. Also Fontana di Trevi, one of my favorite spots in Rome, I know it's very, you know, touristic and things like that. but. It's so beautiful, I love it. Then we watched the sunset at Villa Borghese, which was truly very pretty to see the city and the sun setting and everything was golden. And then we had dinner at this restaurant, which is really good. Just count how many times you see Fontana di Trevi. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, we also visited the Colosseum. Um, I had been there before, but it was still pretty impressive to walk there and to see how massive it is. After we visited the Colosseum, we also went to Forum Romanum, which is a huge, huge site filled with ruins and old buildings. And it's a really nice place to go for a walk. we had to have bubble tea we actually got you know asked to leave <laughs> from the Fontana di Trevi because we weren't allowed to have a drink there I also really wanted to see the Saint Ignazio church it doesn't have a real dome but it does have a trompe which makes it look from the inside as if there is a dome and it's amazing <laughs> Then on the next day we had to leave to Bologna because we wanted to visit Robert's brother who is living there for a while now. Bologna felt really different from Rome. There were a lot less tourists and a lot more students. The academic year had just started so we saw a lot of them and it made the city feel very vibrant and as if there were actually people living there. <laughs> Then we visited Ravenna for a day and there are a lot of monuments in Ravenna. It has eight 
monuments that are inscribed on the World Heritage List and we saw seven of them. All of these monuments were built in the 5th and 6th century, if I'm correct, and they had beautiful mosaic arts. Also, we had to stop for some ice cream. <laughs> the mosaic is really something. It is very special. It, it still looks very vibrant, even though it has been there for over a thousand years. And just, you know, looking at all the art was very inspiring. <laughs> in Bologna we also visited the San Luca church. It is a little bit outside of the city center but it is truly beautiful. I love the color on the outside. <laughs> That was a final day. In the afternoon it started storming and raining so we didn't really do much. I only visited a book market right before we left the next day because it was really close to the train station where we needed to catch a train. Other than that we had great food. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you next Wednesday. Bye! <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> <Thank you. laughs>